Hey guys, Indra this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's related to the latest version 0.59 for its full update. So till now there are few users or I won't say few, there are many users who haven't got the photo update yet uh, and uh, they are still waiting that when they will get. So this particular video will surely help them if they really want to update it before they before uh, like they will be waiting for the official photo update on their uh, mobile phone. So for that, let me open my browser that's Chrome. So we'll navigate to our blog where we have mentioned each and every bit related to full, uh, full update. So firstly, this is a build version that, that's been shipped with the new update uh, that's ending with 0.59 then 2019-0920. And technically this is a full update that is a 1.5 GB file which will upgrade your phone to version 0.59. And one important note, so it's only for uh, users who are on Android Oreo so anyone who is on Android or uh, like uh, like le version less than 340, so they have to first update their phone to the version 340, and afterward they can directly update using this full update. And for the Pi users, if they are on any uh, version like 0, 50, 53, 55, 56, 57, 50, they can directly download, so there is no restriction for them, and they can just uh, update your, their phone. Now let's move to the change log. So according to the latest patch uh, or latest update version. Uh, the very first thing is that they have patched or they have upgraded to the October 2019 security patch. And the second one is that uh, they have fixed the Qualcomm security issue. So for this we'll refer below uh, once we we'll discuss the third one. And third one is that uh, they have fixed the launcher issue. So there were few users who were complaining that their uh, default launcher is not working with the version 058. So finally they have resolved that part. And now let's discuss about what was what was the Qualcomm security issue that they have resolved. So basically, uh, like someone has find this bug, I think in the month of March or April. So basically, this security bug with the name CVE 2018 then 11976 can enable an attacker to gain the access to pro to your private data and even encryption key stored in the Qualcomm's secure execution uh, environment. So Qualcomm has passed this flaw, uh, flaw or this bug earlier this month by tagging it as a critical. So now all the uh, OEMs or manufacturer who are using Qualcomm processor, they should patch it as soon as possible. So if you want to know more about this particular bug, so we have added a source from where we have uh, we have uh, like mentioned this particular thing. So it's usually from gadgets.ndtv.com. So now let's, uh, so there is one initial review from our side, but we will surely be creating a dedicated video on full review. So till now battery drain issue is somewhat less now as compared to the version 058. And apart from this sound quality slightly improved while using headphones. So you can uh, like after updating uh, this particular uh, version, you can uh, check this uh, these uh, two things at your end. Now let's uh, discuss about the update method. So basically you have to download the file from the below mentioned uh, link or URL. Again, this is an official ASUS server or URL link. And even you can uh, verify the same by looking into the URL. So let me zoom it. So it's mentioning dlcdnet.asus.com. So basically we are getting directly from the ASUS server. We are not using any other third party web hosting services. So what you have to do, you have to just tap it here and it will download a file on your system. Okay. So now it's asking Chrome needs because I just so now it's asking do you want to save it so we have already saved it so that's why we will skip it so let's move to the uh, any of you uh, like the file manager so you can choose any of your liking so we are using file manager which is like it's Asus own file manager that I have downloaded using Google Play Store so that particular file is already uh, downloaded in my download folder now you just have to do one thing just select this uh, then afterward there are two options either to move this or either to copy this best would be to copy it so that in any case if your phone is being uh, like shut down or so this file will never be corrupted and you can again move to that part and afterward you can go to internal storage and just copy it so we have already copied it that's why I'm skipping this part but I'll show you that particular file as well so now I'm navigating to my internal storage so this is that file, uh, file with the 059 version so after doing this, you just have to do one particular thing that you have to restart this phone. But before that, there are a few other things that needs to be discussed. So let me open that. So even like even you have viewed that uh, there were few issues with the launchers sometime. 
so at this moment my camera to api is not enabled and it's showing legacy so we'll again verify whether after this update it will change to level 3 full or limited otherwise it will not but we'll just again verify and apart from this there is another thing that is drm info so with version 058 it, it was patched to l1 we'll again see whether after updating this asus has uh, like impacted anything or touched this thing although they haven't but we'll again verify it and apart from this let me even uh, show you my build number so this is the build number that is 1908.058 so i have just put that particular file in my internal storage and apart from this i am also getting the photo update but i won't be using this i will be using that direct method so now let's do the important part that's like by pressing power button and by clicking on restart button now our phone will be restarted and as soon as it will be restarted it will prompt that particular message that a, file, a system update file has been detected do you want to update or not So let's wait till that I'm at restart. It will hardly take five to six seconds, not more than that. So it's just going to restart now. So finally, we have been restarted or we have been booted to login screen. Let me swipe up and it will take. OK, so as soon as I've restarted my phone, it has said that system update file detected. Tap to start the system update. So let me show you there are two uh, different uh, like uh, notification so this was actually for a photo services so although uh, I, I, I have uh, uh, like I don't want to update using photo services so you are having this like if you are getting this you can directly uh, use this one to update otherwise if you are not getting this and you don't want to it then you can follow the uh, things which we are mentioned in this uh, video so let me just click on it as soon as I'll click it it will show me that this is the latest version that is 1910.059 so it's asking do you want to select this packet for sure will be okay now our Android system or our phone will be preparing to update and as soon as it will uh, end this, it will restart our system uh, so that it, it can install the new update. So let's wait for 4 to 5 seconds till the time it will restart. And I think within next 2 to 3 seconds it will surely update, like it will surely restart it automatically. So we are almost on the verge. So finally it has restarted the phone. Now it will restart the installation process. Once we'll uh, view that particular screen, we'll again come back uh, after the full installation process. Let me just wait for... So finally, we are on the installing update screen. We'll again come back once it, this particular update will process fully. So as compared to the previous updates or the previous version, this update will surely take some time because uh, they need to patch that particular Qualcomm security issue. So be patient for that and do not play with your phone keys like by pressing power button that it's been stuck. No, it will not be stuck. It will surely update it uh, so that you won't be stuck into the boot loop or, or a, a bricked state. So let's wait till that time it will update it. So finally the update has been uh, installed successfully. Now our phone has been rebooted. So it will hardly take 5 to 6 seconds to reboot uh, to the uh, login screen. So let's wait till that time. So finally we have been booted to the login screen, let me swipe up and now it will show us that uh, system of okay, phone is starting and in the, on the uh, top it will see that uh, finishing the update. So okay, so finally that particular finishing system update has been going on but it has prompted as a system update, system update successfully with this full update. So let's wait till it. Uh, so it's usually nothing so it will keep on going on in the background let's move to the settings sections to verify whether our phone has been updated to the latest version or not so for that i'll be selecting system then about and then android 9 so voila finally it's showing 1910 059 then 2019 so finally we have updated to our latest version so after, before updating this, we have discussed few things related to camera, to prop API and uh, even for wide one certification. Let's verify whether it has made any changes to them or not. So for that, let me open camera to prop API. So again, earlier before updating this particular update, it was showing legacy. So it's the same. So there is no such uh, camera to prop related things have been touched. And again, please forward or uh, please share this video with all the YouTubers. So who will this time will again be creating rucksacks or uh, I would say uh, unnecessary things that 
camera to probe has been uh, camera to probe api has been enabled uh, forward this so that they will able to understand they don't have to uh, spread the false speculation now apart from this uh, let's discuss about the wideband uh, so on 058 we were having l1 so let's verify whether okay so basically they have stick to the l1 itself so they, they haven't intact anything or they haven't touched so finally this was all from our side in terms of uh, like how to upgrade uh, your phone to latest version 059 using full update uh, using manual uh, uh, manual way or manual update so hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks